right to remain silent. And anything I say can and will be used against me in the court of law that was already built to be used against me. They want me to remain silent. Especially when boyish dreams are becoming arrested and collective anger is becoming erected. The blood in my pen rage on pages for the blood of my men. To the America that's just now tuning in. Praying that pens only whisper the tales of the hells we're caged in. Just know that I wave from my right of silence in favor of young boys who play catch with police bullets. Because black never mattered to the boys in blue. Open grave sites made on all avenues of our youth where childhood and future becomes one and the same. Every corner is designed to be a coffin and every police cruiser becomes more and more like a hearse. And we flee when the sirens ring in the distance because these sirens articulate the sound of our screams that will never be heard. Predators patrolling our neighborhoods with a badge and a Glock are free to hunt on and they can say, this black boy DNA that lie on the pavements that they stump on. Their fingers grip triggers and kill me. And our boys unarmed grip gravel. Tell me, Beaver Creek Chief of Police, how does it taste to harbor a beast whose motto must be shoot first then speak? Because what's more scarier than a black man with a ass gun? You would think it was a sick riddle, like the bullets that ripple through Michael Brown with hands towards heaven, hoping a God would stand between them in the middle. No biggie, just another life that was belittled. Just another mother whose lips form obituaries at trials of acquittal. As a black woman, I fear giving birth to a son. I fear he can't walk to the store with a hoodie on for some Skittles. I fear his skin color will invite evil to dismiss his ambition, or a bullet will make the decision to end his young life because it was never worth living. We have the right to remain alive. And therefore, my cries will increase in octaves for every life lost and every black dream held hostage. I will not be silenced. I am equipped with weaponry of words, bullet-infused tongue, and marching lips, painting pictures of justice with innocent blood spatters, screaming from the top of my lungs today, tomorrow, and for eternity that our black lives matter.